This is David Hoffmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue with Book 2, Unlearning the World. In Chapter 1, this is Section 6, Addressing Prophecy, the Script, and Private Minds. Friend, I was sent an invitation to a website set by, set up by someone claiming to be the awakened prophet Daniel from the Old Testament, now awake as an angel. The prophet said he would pass judgment on two American cities that were to be destroyed by nuclear weapons unless he observed humanity moving closer to divine will. Now I am wondering if I should draw this to the attention of the worldly authorities, given that this world is all an illusion. But if I could have prevented September 11th and didn't, I would be devastated. So now, then, if it is not meant to happen, then it may be me who is supposed to speak up. And if it is supposed to happen, then it will happen regardless of whether I speak up. What are your thoughts on this? David The script is written. The most helpful thing one can do is accept atonement and thus see that all form is the past. The ego would have you believe that the future is different from the past and also that the future will repeat the past. Yet the present is free of the past and innocence can only be found in the present. The future is a construct that is an ego defense against the holy instant. Thinking that you can or should or must prevent a future outcome reflects the belief that you have some control over the script. You have no control over the script of the world. But you do have control over your state of mind. You can choose peace, a miracle, which will show you that you see only the past. Workbook Lesson 7 The future past is the same as the past past. Prophecy is the foretelling of what is already written. As a miracle worker, time is under your direction, meaning you can choose in any moment to bring an end to the erroneous linear perception of time. I am joined with you in choosing just that, for there is literally no other perspective of clarity than that of the Holy Spirit's forgiven world. Friend, I cannot change the outcome of reality. However, I think I can change the outcome of unreality, which is admittedly a paradox while there are those of the sonship who experience the unreality of events like September 11th as real. David There is one mind, and the mind asleep has only one option. To change its mind about itself and accept its changelessness. That is the only responsibility to accept atonement. As long as one perceives other or multiple minds, this is the error to be released. There are not differing perspectives in forgiveness. Forgiveness sees the false as false, 
and as long as the sleeping mind sees cause and effect as a part and the future as different from the past it is refusing to accept atonement for the error it is truly a matter of letting go of the belief in private minds and private thoughts friend it is still necessary to have bodies to reach the deluded david the body is purposeless other than as a communication device yet i have also said that mind reaches to itself it does not go out within itself is everything you within it and it within you god has only one son or creation bodies are only shadow figures that are called forth from the past to witness to separation and nothing of the five senses can witness for oneness the body is used by the ego to reinforce itself and to promote the belief in attack yet mind cannot attack for there is only one mind and nothing outside the oneness or wholeness of mind friend yes the body is purposeless other than a communication device communicating its oneness to the parts which think they are only separate parts rather than integral parts everything which god created in its totality the sum of everything which god created is his one son as an analogy the brain is one brain because of its composition of billions of integral cells david god creates no bodies the body is a limit a fence made to contain what is uncontainable the infinite cannot create the finite and the eternal cannot create the temporal forgiveness shows that images are unreal and this includes the perception of the body as well friend sure but it still allows for the oneness of the one son to be composed of integral parts parts that are still parts but combined parts not separate parts david the whole transcends the concept of parts forgiveness transcends the construct of parts and the mind which still perceives parts is in need of atonement friend you are thinking in terms of reference of parts being separate i am thinking in terms of parts which are integral maybe even necessary to the oneness david in climbing a ladder of consciousness so to speak one will never rise up unless one leaves one step for the next i ask you to see that awakening requires a willingness to release the concept of parts and accept the goal of atonement which is an experience beyond the words the experience of complete forgiveness goes beyond the words the parts to constant peace that is always the helpful barometer inner peace when inner peace is consistent only then will one know what is real and what is illusion